Hello, welcome to Thumbs Up Thursday. It's our 17th day of the month of December. All right, let's see blue, purple, blue, purple, and blue. All right, and we'll just do some patterning starting right at this line here. Uh oh, there we go. All right, so let's just do triangle, triangle, circle, triangle. Yes, triangle. And then tomorrow will be a circle. All right, so there's our calendar. Let's listen to our sentence. Whoops. Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. All right, and we're going to get rid of that circle because it's not the 18th point yet. We have to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Frog Jump Friday. That'll be the end of our school week. And then we get into that next week. That's going to be when Christmas and Kwanzaa and winter begins. So many fun things. All right, let's look at the slides today. Today we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to make a last minute wish list. I want you to use your magazine to go through and find a toy that you like, or maybe a few, and stick them onto your wish list. And we're also going to be talking about uh, our Holiday Helpers Scholastic Magazine today, and you have that at home as well, and how you can be a helper at home. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some patterning. So, but while I have my lights off, I might as well leave them off while I show you our magazine. So if you go onto the Scholastic website, you're going to see some different things that you can do for our Holiday Scholastic Helpers magazine. There's a holiday cheer video. It'll tell you some things you can do to spread holiday cheer, things to make others happy. There's also a video, it's a dance break gingerbread. So you get to dance to that video. There's a game where you can build a gingerbread house. And so you can open that up and look inside. And then the last thing down here is you can serve a pretend meal. Do you remember in November last month when we had Thanksgiving and we served a meal to our family? Well, you can do the same thing. You can make your own pretend meal or a real meal and you can serve it to your family, okay? So let's go back in here real quick and I'm gonna show you that gingerbread house. So you can start this. Build a gingerbread house. And make. Click on shapes to build your own gingerbread house. There you go. She explained it Choose just Choose a so. door. All right, so the door, I think I might actually rectangle. use a rectangle for my door. And maybe a window. Square. Oops. Rectangle. Nope, the rectangle, that's what I'll do for my door. Oh, then I've got to push the next button. There's my door. Choose a window. Uh, use a heart, heart for my window. Choose another window. Oh, maybe a star, star. for my window. Choose a decoration. Mmm, a rhombus. I like it. Rhombus. Choose a trim. A trim. Hmm, let's try a rectangle trim. Rectangle. So try that at home, okay? Have fun doing that. All right, Miss Nancy, could you please turn on our lights? Thank you, Miss Nancy. All right, so now down here, like I described up there, you're going to use your magazine and find something that you like. So for example, I happen to like bowling. So I'm going to use my scissors, keeping our thumb in the upright position and turning the page so that there's only one page for cutting. And you can cut out whatever it is that you like last minute wish list okay so i am cutting and you can even rip out the whole page okay if that's easier to take it all out so that you can use your helper hand and as you're cutting you can turn the paper and then the last thing you'll do is you'll get your glue and you'll glue it onto your wish list okay so here we go i have my wish list right here and i'm going to open my glue and i'm going to put it down and there are some lines here so if you would like you can put what you want and use your words, use the words. So I want, W-A-N-T, A, bowling, B-O-W-L-I-N-G. I want 
I want a bowling set, S-E-T. And there's my period at the end of the sentence. Or you can just put a B for bowling. Or you can just write the word bowling. And don't forget to write your name because it says, Dear Santa, here is my wish list. I want a bowling set. Oh, maybe I should write the word please, comma. I'll write please, P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. And there's my period. And then I'm going to write love. And I'm going to write Mrs. Beach, B E. A, C, and an H, all right? And then you can actually fold it up if you want, put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it, and put it right into the mailbox for Santa. All right, so that's a fun thing you can do. The next thing we have is something that looks like this. You'll see a long strip of paper in your bag and some stickers. And I wanna see if you can make a pattern. So you have a lot of different stickers. Now this pattern, I wanna see if you can make it a little bit difficult using three different types of pictures. So I'm sorta, of, actually, oh boy, I have four. Maybe we'll do it with four different types of pictures. Oh, that's gonna be a very difficult pattern, but that'll be really great. I've got snowmen, reindeer, snowflakes, and a tree. You might have different ones at home. Whatever you have is fine. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do for my pattern? I'm gonna do snowman, snowman, Reindeer. Uh-oh, you know what? I might end up running out. You know what? Maybe I have to do snowman, snowflake, reindeer, and then tree. Because I realize I'm going to run out. Okay? So that'll be how we do it. So we'll do snowman, snowflake, reindeer, tree. And then we're going to start the pattern again. Okay? You know how sometimes I clap to talk about a pattern? Let's pretend that that crease here is a clap. Okay? So that's one part of our pattern. Now we're going to do it all over again. So now we have snowman, snowflake, reindeer, and then what's the last one in that set? A tree, okay? See, now I have the set, the first set, the second set, and now I'm gonna do the pattern over again. All right, so then I do snowman, what comes after snowman? That's right, snowflake, okay, what comes after snowflake? Reindeer, all right, what comes after reindeer? Tree, very good. And then if you wanna put a crease to remind yourself that we're starting it over again, you can do that. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time. Here we go. We have our snowman, and then our snowflake, and then our reindeer, and then last in our pattern is our tree. So there we have it. So see if you can make a pattern at your home.